Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the 556 SCAR, also known as the SCAR L. It and the SCAR H were added at the beginning of 1212, and if you're anything like me, it takes you a little bit of time to experiment with the new weapons they add to Tarkov. So today, we're going to be testing its performance, I'll show you a build that I like using, and then end with some PvP fights that I got into using this gun. Hope you guys enjoy, let's jump into it. Since the SCAR has been added to the game, you haven't really heard much people talk about it. And I think what happened with this gun was it was hyped for so long. When it got added to the game, it was pretty lackluster compared to what people thought it was going to be. I think they expected it to be best in class or close to it, but I'd say it's right there in the middle. That doesn't mean it's a bad gun, it just means it's another viable option for 5.56. The performance is very similar to the 556 MDR, but in my opinion, it's just a little bit more stable and it has the same fire rate as the MDR as well. The unique thing about this 556 weapon are the stats on paper are not that great, but the gun's performance is actually not bad at all. And you'll see in just a moment what I'm talking about with the performance tests. Overall, this is an awesome looking gun and it performs really well for the price that it costs. So be sure to check it out after this video. So here I want to demonstrate the comparison between other 556 weapons like the M4 and the MDR. I got the stats as close as I could for all three weapons. What you're going to notice is even though the SCAR has worse recoil on both stats, it still performs relatively good. You can see that it's very similar to the MDR, but the MDR has a lower horizontal recoil stat, but to me it jumps around a lot more in my opinion. And while controlling the guns, I find it a lot easier to keep the SCAR on point in comparison to both the M4 and the MDR. The M4 is just out of this world with recoil now, but the MDR still jumps around a little bit more horizontally than I'd like. So I also wanted to compare a bad SCAR to a meta SCAR. This SCAR has 85 vertical recoil and 256 horizontal, so it should be pretty bad. But honestly, it performs pretty well. And that's what's interesting. The attachments don't make a huge difference in the end, as you'll be able to see here in a second. You could run this thing very cheaply or you could spend a lot of money on it and it's really just your preference and how you want to build this gun out. But in the end, it still performs really well on either end of the spectrum. It's very obvious that the bad scar is worse, but with the stats being 85 vertical and 256 horizontal recoil, you'd expect a lot worse performance. And that's what's kind of weird. It's almost like the stats don't matter too much on this gun, or they perform very differently than other guns of the same stat. So to start my SCAR build, I usually head over to the black SCARs, and the reason being is because you can find them brand new and they have the 18 inch barrel, which has negative six recoil reduction and is the best barrel you can get for the SCAR. In comparison to the FDE version or the tan version of the SCAR, they're usually cheaper on the market, but the max barrel size you can get is 14 inches. And not to mention most of them are damaged because they're coming from Raiders. The only reason I would start with an FDE version is if you're trying to go for a high ergo build, but other than that, I would just stick with the black SCAR. So like I mentioned before, it doesn't really matter what you do to this gun, it's going to perform pretty well no matter what. So I'll give you a build that I've been using lately if you want to copy it. So first for the sight, I use the QRP2 mount, which is going to allow you to put the Comp M4 on top. This site's not really that popular because it does require a mount to be on there, but it has a really nice clear dot, so I like using it every once in a while. Next, we have the SRX rail extension. This increases ergonomics and allows you to put a tactical device on the lower part of the rail. For the muzzle device, I like to use the AR-15 Surefire flash hider, and on top of that, I put the Surefire monster suppressor. And for the tactile device, I like the X400, but use whatever your preference is, as long as it's not a regular flashlight like the Predator or something like that. Make sure it is a tactical device. And for the foregrip, I prefer the Magpul RVG. It has really nice stats and it's not that expensive. And for the magazine, I would just stick with a 30 rounder and most of the scars that you buy in the market are gonna come with one. So just use that one for now. And lastly, for the pistol grip, I like the Hogue overmolded rubber grip. 
So that brings the overall stats to 64 vertical recoil, 192 horizontal recoil, and 37 ergonomics, which by all means is not the best stats you can see in a gun, but these stats react a little bit differently than on other guns. So make sure you still try out this gun, regardless of what the stats look like. And then here's your full shopping list. The total for my build is around 135K if you have level three traders. So keep that in mind while you're building this gun. Mix and match and feel free to change things up because this gun is gonna be good regardless of what you put on it. Another thing to consider, you should be running M856A1 and better. That pretty much goes for any 556 weapon at this point in the wipe. So that's gonna do it for the informational part of this video. Next up is some PVP that I had with this gun. If this video ended up helping you out at all, consider giving it a like. It really does help my channel grow and it shows more people my videos. Also, make sure you sub to the channel if you wanna see my videos pop up on your home feed a little bit more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go. GG boys. Don't mind me, just healing up. Put some fucking lip gloss on, boy. Oh god. Are you with that little freak? Bet you are, aren't you? Ah, oh, you're the little freak. <laughs> 